Hi, welcome to the show, the Oslo Opera. This is family friendly. Fly. Better watch out. They're attracted to shit. I'm gonna get you, Fly. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm gonna welcome to 3 Minute John. And now, the news. No porn in the UK without a porn pass. <laughs> yep, the good old adult news found their way back to 3 Minute John. Ah, <sighs> how I miss them. In my youth, I had to go through great endeavors in order to find that good quality VHS monkey spanking cassette videos. Yeah, I'm that old. And then came the internet. Nobody knew what it was, but it had a lot of porn. So I didn't question anything about it because it was all a young boy ever wanted. But of course, that was wrong and kids should never be exposed to this type of online content. No, for real, this time, it's wrong. And for this, the UK government has approved the Digital Economy Act. We talked about this last year. Very funny stuff, you should check it out. <laughs> and this act included very strict laws regarding pornographic sites. The new law will go into effect in the UK later this year, and the regulators suggested that users who want to access porn online should purchase a porn pass from their friendly local newsstand. Uh, that won't get awkward at all. Mm -mm. The stores will sell the porn pass, which consists of a 16-digit code and will cost around £10, only to people that have a passport or a driver's license in order to verify the buyer's age. Hello, I would like a porn pass, please. Yeah, sure. Um, you know you don't need all this. <laughs> Mr. John, I mean, I, I, you gave me your ID, I know what you look like, I know your name, I... Hell, I even know your address now. It... Could you... Here you go. Thank you. Sure. Idiot. Now, I understand and I agree that you need to control the kids' online access, but let's face it, this is stupid. I mean, it's the same thing it was with the Playboy magazine back in the day. You just pay an 18-year-old to get you some. But the new regulations are no joke. If the adult sites won't comply with the request, the fines will go as high as 250,000 pounds. In my personal opinion, all the kids need is for their parents to get some software that limits the access of their devices, thus protecting them from this kind of bad online content. Wow, that's actually very good advice, John. I know, right? Thanks. Sometimes I surprise myself. I should celebrate. I'm gonna get a porn pass. The US net neutrality is set to die on June 11. If you remember, we talked about net neutrality six months ago. Again, very funny video, you should check it out and how important it is for the freedom of internet to keep net neutrality alive and active. All of the internet was so angry at this guy, Ajit Pai, the FCC chairman, that made the arrangements to kill net neutrality. He bought the coffin, the nails, he booked the funeral home, he took care of everything. And thus giving the ISPs all the power they need in order to make you access whatever they want you to access by limiting the internet speeds of sites or streaming services they want. But no matter how many people try to stop this from happening, Happening, it did happen. They voted to repeal net neutrality and it's said to be totally killed on June 11th. I'm truly sorry for the US that this is happening and I pray that this will never happen in the EU. Whoa, whoa, stop it, stop, stop, stop it. Oh my god. Yesterday, the US Senate voted 52 to 47 to restore net neutrality. <laughs> While this measure must now go through the House of Representatives and then the White House in order for the rules to be fully restored, this is still an incredibly important step in the process. That's why I love the internet. We join together for the good stuff. <sighs> I'm gonna get a porn pass. <laughs> and to you, Mr. Aged Pie, 
Well, would you look at that? It's open season for pie! Mr. Pie, you fat lip butthead looking corrupt idiot. What will it take for you to understand that this is wrong? Who raised you like this? This is a clear example of bad parenting. Yes, Agent, I blame your mom for this. This is for Agent Pie's mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, Agent Pie's mom, we all may pull. And everyone agree, your son's on a toe. When he was small, he was so cute in the baby bed. Maybe you shouldn't have dropped it on his head. A brain device that helps you lose weight. Wait, what? This is not the first time that someone made a crazy invention that promises weight loss. You know, like the treadmill that promises to get you fit, lose weight, be healthier. <laughs> what a big lie. I used it and nothing happened. Those are two minutes I'm never getting back. What do you mean two minutes are not enough? Well, now there's a headset called Modius that uses a mild electric current to stimulate the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus. Hey John. Which is the part of the brain that controls your metabolic hormones, your appetite and how much fat you store. So basically it zaps your fat brain to stop eating. What the f is this crap? Oh. <sighs> it's okay, they're sugar free. In the presentation video, they say this. It's assumed that struggling with weight is actually because of her diet or not enough exercise or people not trying hard enough. But we know that this is actually an issue in the brain. So they're selling this by saying that you're fat because your brain tells you you're fat, not because you just ate 10 cheeseburgers and the only gym you know is your neighbor. Hey, Jim. It costs $500, it comes with an app that controls the intensity and other stuff. But besides all of this, they're so confident in their product that if you don't lose weight and you're not satisfied with the Modius in the first 90 days, you get your money back guaranteed. Hmm. This is fishy. You know, that is why I love the human race. I mean, to go through such lengths just to not work out. Bravo, humans! Bravo! Okay, now I would love to lose some weight, but this just sounds too good to be true and creepy at the same time. What do you think? Would you use it? Leave a comment and let me know. This was the show, thanks again very much for watching. You know the drill. Subscribe, leave a comment, give a like, share it with your friends. I'm John, until next week... You know it. Yeah, hi. I would like to return to Modius. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't work for me. I mean, I used it for a whole two minutes and, and I'm still fat. I have to use it how long? Get the f out of here.